We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees. Kansas City find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Masahiro Tanaka will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, if you were getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately, in his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Now to the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. And we are set for baseball here this evening. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, now they've been on a pretty good roll of late, winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge okay. lead, double yeah, digits okay. right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed strike three. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one in past meetings with Tanaka not great he's one for eight one out nobody on and a strike to even the count one and one. Tanaka it's a guy who throws a lot of strikes rarely walks people but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball Matt this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone one of the keys he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone and what happens with that Matty V he becomes very predictable and when you don't have overpowering stuff you tend to be able to get hit hard. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. With Merrifield next to bat. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. He enters here right at the 290 mark. Six home runs and 19 driven in. close with the slider there but it's one and one so let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one working the plate Rusty Valentine Dan Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight he is north south without question letters to knees well, I tell you what he really favors a power pitcher if you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above he'll call that high strike zone I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In is Jorge Soler. 
as he'll take a look at the pitch too low it's ball one. The set and the 1 0. Oh, I had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's 1 and 1 now. Got to sit middle middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. The set and the 1 1. This one's down to third. LeMayhew's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for Kansas City. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Jacob Junis, a right-hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. At the plate, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Brett. Now the pitch. Gardner. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide. The 1 0. All two. Gardner is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a left-handed batter and thrower. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. 3-1 and one now to Brett Gardner. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Batting second. The right field. Aaron. Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. He comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. He's set. Here it comes. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. One ball and one strike to their DH here tonight. And that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his M.O. is. The one-two. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Batting four. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. And 
and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Ball one. You got to love that as a hitter right there. It doesn't happen much, but when it does, you have to find a way to take advantage of the count. One and one the count now. Judge is off a of first with two away. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Two strikes. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is Gordon. Boom goes the dynamite. Two run home run off the bat of Gary Sanchez. Number 17 for him on the season. And this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. What a way to start this one off. Scoreless top of the frame, and you answer with a bomb in the bottom of the first. That'll bring up Glaber Torres. And check out the recent numbers. Clearly providing a That's lot of thump at the plate right now. First pitch on its way. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. I know he stole a strike right there, but he wants to get that curveball down or he's going to get hurt. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2 nothing, New York. So stepping in, Hunter Dozier. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average. Without a doubt, the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope, up there. The 1 0 home. There's a slider taken for a ball. Swing and a miss on what should have been ball three. Instead, the count goes to two and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Due up next is Salvador Perez. Three two pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. 
Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. And up steps Salvador Perez. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1 comes in here right at 260 10 home runs and 34 driven in the wind up and the 0 1 now a splitter and he lays off a ball and a strike and here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Fly ball right down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Three two pitch. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan O'Hearn, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And it's 0-1 to the Kansas City first baseman. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. 2-1 to the Royals first baseman. Fouled off. The 2 2. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Royals go down 1 2 3. They're still down. It's 2 0. Late. Mike Talkman took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made and fast. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Yeah, three straight balls to start the inning, and it's clear to me he just hasn't found his rhythm out there yet. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. 
You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Three one is a fastball and he can't connect three and two. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it so we'll see if that comes back to haunt it. Three two pitch. Count remains full. The three two one more time. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. That and that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First offering on its way. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Hit to first. Reined in. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The first base Ford. Striding in, Mike Ford. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch coming, here it is. Count one and open. One and one the count. Two out, nobody on. Round ball foul down the left side. Oh. And that's going to be high two and two now. I got to count two and two. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. High in the air out to center field. Phillips is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak Matt Vaskersian as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning first pitch on its way and he fouls this one off. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well it's still early but it's also worth that noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league right. leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there he's part of a flat footed tie for the AL lead. Standing in Brett Phillips and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Called a strike on the outer half, 0 and 1. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1 and 1. 
One out, nobody on. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Tuckman will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now back, the shortstop, Adalberto Mondesi. Digging in the switch hitter, Adalberto Mondesi. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. On the outside black, good pitch called for a strike. Got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Outside for a ball, one and one. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. The 2 1. Oh, is laid off of for ball number three. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there, and that retires the side. KC down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day among the league leaders in both home runs and runs scored. So it's no secret what a threat they present to opposing pitching staffs. As one player told me earlier, we've got a stacked lineup. So as long as we all show up to swing it every day, we're going to cause a lot of problems for the other guys. It's a fun group of guys to hit with. Matt, back to you. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Tyler Wade. Nope. A ball and no strikes. Hey. And a high strike there. It's one and one. A bouncer to the left side. He's got a hurry. Throw on to first in time. One away. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Merrifield picks it up. Throw in time at first for out number two. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. John. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Count even now at one and one. Now the pitch. Way outside, nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. 
Giancarlo Stanton would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Line drive to left. And Gordon will make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three go the Bombers, but they're on top two to nothing. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the veteran left-handed hitting outfielder, Alex Gordon. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Whit Merrifield next to hit. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. A barehanded play by LeMayhew. The wind up and the 0-1. Ball. one and one. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's through for a base hit, making one for two in this one. And he's safe. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. Hunter Dozier digging in now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez, down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. No, that's three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Runners at the corners, two men out. Good battle, count remains full.
This one's down to third. Gloved by LeMahieu. On to first, and the Royals can't cash in as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Carlos Stanton now. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball that time. The 1-0. He's taken strike one. A hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. And there's Count ball two, two now. That's Can't find three. the zone there, and it's three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So coming to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. And it's fouled away. Two runs on two hits. And no errors for the Yankees so far. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. O'Hearn is there and he's got it for the first out. Now batting. Shortstop. Labor. Go red. Digging in to try it again. Torres looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's set and the pitch. One out. This year against right handed pitching, Torres carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Two and oh. So far on the year, Torres is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously, a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Now the 2 0 -oh home. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Payoff pitch home. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. There's Merrifield. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Yanks held in check, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. 
and overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. No, they have not scored yet, but they have been successful in running up the pitch count, something they feel will eventually pay dividends on the scoreboard as the starter gets tired and they are forced to go to the bullpen. For now, they're sticking to the plan. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And here comes the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Now the pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. The one-two. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Michael Franco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. And that finds the target, nothing in two now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0 2, gotta find a way to grind. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Nope. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Mm, Might have gone after ball four there as this one's fouled away off to the right. One out, nobody on. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The next 3 2. And he fouls this one off. The next 3 2. Line drive to left. Tuckman is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The center fielder, number 14, Brett Phillips. Brett Phillips will bat next. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The pitch. Ball, action time. Two out, nobody on.
Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. and Phillips is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. And it's a two and two count to Brett Phillips. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. They're down two to nothing. Now at the plate, Mike Talkman. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, man. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Pitch on the way. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Phillips is there for it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next to the Yankees, the third baseman, DJ Ramayhew. Here's the second baseman, DJ Lemayhew. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Off the plate, ball one. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Phillips calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Now batting, the first baseman, Mike Ford. Coming to the plate now, Mike Ford. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game.
from the belt. The pitch. Outside. That's the ball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a two run shot to right center home run number two for him on the year as the Yankees start to pull away a bit it's now four to nothing. Hey every once in a while the speed guy will jump up and bite one he absolutely crushed that baseball doesn't fit his usual tool description but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Here's Brett Gardner now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0 home. Driven nicely into the gap. Around first, here's Gardner on his way to second. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Eric Scogland, the tall, imposing left hander, takes over pitching duties out of the bullpen now. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Judge carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. The 1 0 home is in off the plate. Tough situation for him right here. I mean, he's got an open base, so he doesn't have to get into this guy, but there's definitely danger looming on deck, so you can't just completely work around him either. The 2 0 is a well located fastball that down around the knees. Now the 2 1 pitch lifted in the air out towards left center. Phillips is on his horse. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Yankees get a couple on the two run home run through five innings. It's now a four nothing New York lead. So next to the plate for the Royals Adalberto Mondesi and through five turns at bat they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well it's getting a little bit too late in this game but this continues like this in today's game with so many dominant bullpen arms you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. First pitch of the at bat. The one one. One ball, two strikes. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. In now, Alex Gordon. Swing and a liner. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. 
boy, Dero, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is line to left. Tuckman is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The batter, the right fielder, Jorge Soler. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Jorge Soler, he singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Two out with the man at first. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Here it comes on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ball three. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty V, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen in D-Roll right now. This guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you are a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six of you guys hanging out down there. So he's going to empty the bucket right here until the manager gets him. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Well, the Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. And it's fouled away. Here it comes, 0-2. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Two down, runners at first and second. To two balls and two strikes now. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. Royal strand a pair. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and digging in is the veteran D.H., Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. Now here it comes. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. There's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Scoglin playing here in his age 26 season. He's in his fourth season as a major league player.
fouled away. The one two. Chopped at third. Dozier scoops it up. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Gary Sanchez will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. And the pitch. Ball oh, one. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. Oh. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in, 2-0, oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Here's the pitch. Ball three. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Eight. And he'll just make him throw one over here, three and one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One out, nobody on. Swing and a high chopper. Throw gets him, two down. Up next to the Yankees, the shortstop, Waver Torres. Next for New York, Torres. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. And he lays off there, 1-0. Shot toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Drove that one into the alley for a gapper that'll bring him easily into second base. Into the box, Mike Talkman, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. No hits to this point. The 0 1 pitch. Ball, oh, that's outside. Side two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Now the two one pitch. Oh, that's out. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. The 3 1. Swing and a line drive. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. This game is unbelievable sometimes, Dan. There's a bullet knock right there. You're expecting an RBI. He almost hit it too good. He can't even score. Boy, too good is it, Mark. This is one right here. It just kind of gets out to the outfielder so quick. 
that the runner not have able to score from second base. At the plate now, DJ LeMay here. A ball and no strikes. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Here comes the 1 0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Soler is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Yanks strand a pair. They lead it four to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll, and now it'll be the catcher, Salvador Perez. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Into the box now, Ryan O'Hearn. Liner into right center, that's a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So we'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the W. Ben Heller comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. To the plate now, Michael Franco. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. One out and a runner on second base. Rip down the first base line. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a now good, now. hard fastball in on a guy's hands right. and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Stepping in now, Brett Phillips. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Now with the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. 
Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Into center field, line drive base hit. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's 4-1. to one. Yeah, one a day keeps the doctor away, Dan, especially yeah, when it's a big one so late in the game. It Alex. doesn't matter at all. You're just trying to get one knock a day, find a couple barrels. He happened to catch his late. Well, I tell you what, you're talking about coming at a good time, too. You're having kind of a rough night last A-B. You end up being able to do something positive, not only for yourself, but also helping a team out, too. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Standing in now, Alex Gordon. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Two men are on with two men out. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. It's a run on two hits here for KC. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Yankees are out in front, four to one. Jake Kalish will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Mike Ford. The first baseman, Mike Ford. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Whoa, and low, it's a ball and a strike. And right into the shift, Merrifield brings it in, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The batter number 14, second baseman, Tyler Way. Tyler Wade will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1 and 0. A ball and a strike. We're in the seventh now, 4 to 1 our score to this point. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. Now ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. In the air now out to left. And there to take it in is Gordon for out number two. Now batting center fielder, Brett Gardner. Digging in and looking for more, Brett Gardner. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get 
maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fouled off. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Now the pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A swing and a ground ball to third. And he whiffs on it as this ball's right under his glove. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2 2. And he's able to find the knock out there. At the plate, Aaron Judge, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one and no oh delivery. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. It's funny. That pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. The one two still a ball and two strikes now another one two right side but it's going to be a foul ball. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. A runner on first with two away. Popped him up. Perez is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Yankees as they hold on to a four to one lead. Adam Ottavino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Settling in now, Whit Merrifield. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Merrifield. From the stretch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Up to the goal. The right field. Jorge Soler. Striding in once again. Jorge Soler. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here comes the first pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. 
Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Eighth inning, four to one is our score. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. In now, Hunter Dozier, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. KC down in order. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Digging in once again, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Giancarlo Stanton. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. A little bit outside, two and one. Here it comes. That's ball three. Gary Sanchez is on deck. Here's the 3 1. Swung on and missed 3 and 2. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Now the payoff pitch home. Count still full 3 and 2. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Payoff pitch one more time. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. A 
Well, that's demoralizing right there. Nice job by the offensive player getting the head out. That's got to upset you, thinking that ball might have went foul. But you know what you hear it all the time, that the game baseball is a game of inches. One inch, one way or the other, could have been the difference between a foul ball and a base hit right over the third base bag. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Nobody out, runner on first. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that's allowed out number one. Now batter, not shortstop. Waver. So a runner at first now with one away and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder Glaber Torres. Has a look now the pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. behind 0 and 2 now runners on first with one down Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two he was even close to swinging right there that was a stone cold take Hot shot to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. On to first, and there were two down. The batter, the left fielder, Mike Talkman. Ready now, Mike Talkman, runner in scoring position with two gone. pitch coming here it is fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike and he lays off for ball one one and one here it is hopped up Dozier in foul ground and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. The Yanks leave one, but they lead it four to one. Your attention, please. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. All set to start the ninth in this one. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Strike one to start the at-bat. Pitch on the way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Chapman. Nicknamed the missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three-year deal.
the 1-1 home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. To two balls and two strikes now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. He's set. Here's the 2 2. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3 2 count. With the three run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he fouls this one off. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. And that at bat would put a smile on any manager's face. The pitch total of the opposing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. Digging in now for Kansas City, Ryan O'Hearn. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. And it's 0-1 to the Kansas City first baseman. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one, so until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. And it's fouled away. Now the 0-2 pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. A runner at first with no outs here. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The 1-2. He is swung on and missed strike three. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box, Michael Franco. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. one count here's the pitch and he popped him up he lays out for it but he can't pull it in well he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch I'll tell you he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases Stepping up now, Brett Phillips. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. From the belt, kicks and deals. Whoa. Lays off 1 and 0. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. Mm -hmm. 
Count now a ball and a strike. A roll this Chapman. They call him the Cuban Missile. Well, he needs to start firing some bullets right here. He's in trouble, but I wouldn't bet against him getting out of this mess. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Hit sharply on the ground. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now batter, look back. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Mickey Lopez will come on now and pinch run here. Now running at second there. Number one, Mickey Lopez. Stepping in now, Adalberto Mondesi, as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Round ball foul down the left side. Fastball just missed above the zone. Him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with Al two Al outs, it becomes a lot more Al difficult Al to Al manufacture that guy Al home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Into the box now, Alex Gordon. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Here's the 1 0. In there, and it's even at one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. KC down to their final strike in this one. Outside and a full count, three and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And another foul ball. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. 
And Gordon looks at ball four. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Chad Green gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Number 57. Chad Green. Whit Merrifield will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Has a look, now the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. Four to two, the final score tonight. So the Bronx Bombers, with their 50th team win, tops in the division. Masahiro Tanaka wins his league-leading 10th game of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.